If you're watching this video, you're a MassCom student who's about to start learning on how to produce a newscast. We've created this video to help you understand how to prepare for the newscast and what each role is responsible for. We'll take you through five easy steps to producing Raider TV. There are nine roles you can play for Raider TV. Those roles are listed here. Anchor, camera, floor director, audio, graphics, switcher, teleprompter, director. We'll start with anchor. It's the anchor's job to report the news. The anchor sits here at the news desk and reads scripts off the teleprompter. It's not as easy as it sounds. Sometimes the scripts have landmines, typos ready to trip you up if you're not careful. The anchor should be carefully reading their script ahead of time so they can inform the director of any mistakes and so they can practice reading the story before going live. The role of the camera operator is simple. We operate the cameras. Our job is to make sure the shots are framed well and focus on the person speaking. The camera operator can also move and zoom in to make a better shot for the anchor. We use our headsets to communicate with the director for any further questions. The floor director has main jobs, but the main jobs would be the communication bridge between the director inside the control room and the anchors in the studio. The floor director can communicate these messages by hand signals, but they usually get the messages from the director with a headset. Oh yeah, we also set up the lights. The role of an audio operator is to make sure the mics are not only working but functioning at appropriate levels. The audio operator not only listens to the mics, but they look at the levels. Green is good, yellow is too loud or blown out, and red is bad. The audio operator should make sure they get mic checks from the anchor before the newscast. The graphics operator creates and controls graphics. A graphic is anything that is designed digitally and created. Here at Raider TV, we use PowerPoint to create full screen graphics for our newscast. The graphics operator creates these graphics and tabs through the graphics during the show. The switcher switches between camera shots during a newscast. They do this by pressing buttons on the switchboard. The switcher needs to listen closely to the director to make sure they're switching to the right camera shots at the appropriate time. The teleprompter scrolls through the script so the anchors can read it. It can be a little tricky because the teleprompter has to read backwards and find a speed that matches the anchor's reading ability. The teleprompter may also be advised to fix any issues inside of the script. The director is the boss. The director has to know how to do every job and is responsible for keeping everyone on task. The director is responsible for quality control. They need to know what a good shot looks like and how the camera operator can achieve the best shot. The director also needs to know what the floor director needs to do and should be able to keep the switcher on track. The director also verbalizes each movement of the newscast. They tell the camera operator when to move the camera and they tell the switcher when to switch between cameras. They tell the graphics operator when to switch between graphics and they tell the audio operator if the audio is too loud. After you've picked your role, it's time to write the script. Script writing is a collaborative effort. Every member of Raider TV writes one story. Those stories are compiled to make a script. The stories should be relevant to the athlete community, such as sporting events or clubs updates, and should be about four sentences long. Make sure the stories are timely. You don't want a story promoting a club fair running two days after the club fair happened. Once you've written the script, you need to mark the script. Marking the script means making notations about what to do for each story. Every role needs to mark their script a little differently. The audio operator, for instance, will need to mark which mics to open during each story, and the switcher will need to mark which camera to punch up for each story. It's the floor director's job to get the studio ready. They will need to turn on the studio lights, plug in the cameras, and hook up the mics for the anchor. A helpful anchor or camera operator can assist. The director needs to make sure the control room is prepared. That involves making sure the audio board and switchboard are turned on. The audio operator and switcher can do this too, but the director should go behind them to make sure everything is up and running. In a real world scenario, the news is live and not rehearsed, but this is a student led production, so we allow time to practice. Students usually run through the newscast before going live. A run through is when you run through the entire newscast start to finish to iron out anything. Everyone must play their role as if it's the real deal in a run through. After the rehearsals, it's time to go live. Our live capabilities here are a little touch and go. So when we say we are about to go live, we often mean we are about to record. We're looking for perfection when we record. The anchor should be able to flawlessly deliver a script, the camera move should be fluid, and the mic level should be appropriate, and the right camera should be used at the right time. 
The director is responsible for making everyone, making sure everyone does their job perfectly. When we record, this is a newscast that will be shared with every teacher and posted on Twitter. Our goal is that every teacher will air Raider TV during first block. If you've never seen Raider TV, ask your A1 or B1 teacher what's up. Now you know all the steps necessary to produce Raider TV. I hope you learned about each role and even found the one that is perfect for you. Now it's your turn. You will be producing your own episodes of Raider TV. Good luck.